This is officially a catch and cook. Beautiful. Voila is like the snapper of fresh water. We were at this spot the other night and Nick caught a nice small mouth. I caught a little small mouth. Although tonight I'm really, really hoping for a walleye. I know there are walleye in this river. There are of course small mouth and there are also some trout. Oh, that <laughs> one's in there. Something's in there. It felt like straw. It's a mouse nest. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, just leaves, just leaves. Okay. Whew. So the fish love, they love structure. They love drop offs. They love having rocks to hide behind. The rocks also are really good at snagging. Um, but basically like right where it drops off is where I'm trying to fish. There's also a pretty clear line between where the current really isn't flowing and where the current is flowing. So those transition points are also spots that I'm trying to target. So I just saw a massive brown trout feed on top of the water. There's no chance that the trout's going to eat this. So I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna put on this guy. Square bell crankbait. It's a floating crankbait though. It is. Good work. It's good work. Nice and secure. Thank you. Here I come. Ah. A little inflow right here that's also a good like way to find fish set inflows because this ends up being like a conveyor belt of food although it's not flowing very fast at the moment still a good sign nonetheless how far are you diving down I'm gonna see it in the water oh that looks good I'm coming, baby. <laughs> oh my god, I hope so. Easy does it, Beb. Okay, easy does it. Easy does it, I'm coming. <laughs> Woo, baby! Oh, hell yeah, he is. First cast on live bait. Oh my god, bad. <laughs> I think that's 15. Nice job. This is officially a catch and cook. Oh baby. Oh yeah, he's well over. We'll get him out and get a good measure, but I just didn't want to start manhandling him before we knew for sure. There's from tip to tail. He's like 18 and a half. Nice. That's awesome. He's way over size limit, but we don't have a stringer. So I think we'll break off like one of these little willow branches right here and just, I guess, string it through him. I, I just want to leave him in the water. You know? Or we could just, yeah, just we'll kill him and leave him in the water so he stays cold. Is more efficient, my friends. This is the jig head with a little bucktail that Nick was using. Then he put a live but dead minnow on that and literally caught that walleye on his first cast. Food is on the line. Woo! A dozen shiners. I was freezing cold, so I put my jacket on. Sun's going down, so it's bite time. They were here the other night too. Into the cooler. We're talking recipes. So like at home we have breadcrumbs, we have eggs, we have milk, we have like buns. We can make some fried walleye sandwiches tonight. 
like some deep fried sandwiches, which would be great. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, just it's a celebration. And like Nick was just like, ooh, I'll have a beer. And I was like, ooh, me too. Okay, so since this is Nick's fish, he's filleting it up. There's cheap meat too. So he's just cutting up behind the pectoral fin and then cutting down, but unfortunately I think he's kind of gutting it all at the same time. <laughs> there you go. Nice. And then he'll clean those up and we'll have two beautiful fillets. Never even seen what it's like to get the cheek meat. <laughs> I can see some pretty flesh in there. Uh, got the cheek meat. Hmm. Cheek Look at meat. that. So what he just cut off was where all of the stomach contents were, all of the guts really on the fish. So he just cleaned that up real good. And once you remove that, it's really starting to look like a delicious filet. So the last thing that he has to do is to cut the skin off. And then once the skin's off, we will be ready for cooking. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here, here's the delicious walleye. Nick filleted it up. It's in a bunch of small pieces. I'm gonna rinse it off, pat it dry, and then we're breading this and frying it in oil and making sandwiches. No, it's like 68 degrees in here. I don't know why. Something's up with me, because I've just been freezing. I think that I got too cold on the water and it's like taking me a while to defrost. So. Alright, where's my drink? Cast iron pan. I have vegetable oil. I prefer peanut oil typically, but this will work just fine. I do have a thermometer, although really I'm just monitoring that it doesn't get too hot. I'm more or less just going to pan sear these. So, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I've done in the past. I'm going to season these first before I dip it in anything with this. This is a garlic salt pepper mixture. So I'm going to just lay these out and then sprinkle it on all over. Just a nice coating of the GSP. And not too much because I don't want it to um, get, you know, too crazy. First into the flour cornstarch mixture. So they're nice and coated like so. Then they're dumping into the eggs. So into the eggs they go. And then they go into breadcrumbs. And these are Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. And then they're ready for the hot oil. Good. Looks real good. Oh yeah. These are gonna be done real quick. So, let me build out my sandwich. I have a toasted and buttered bun. Nice big piece of lettuce. And then we'll put our fish on. Try it first. Yeah, first try. Mm -hmm. Cheers. First time trying walleye ever.
<laughs> wow. Magical, white, flaky. Do you see the inside of that? I feel like seasoning the fish first with that GSP, garlic, salt, pepper, before I did everything else, it has like the perfect saltiness. It is so mild. <laughs> Look who it is. A couple tomatoes and then some tartar sauce. Oh my god, it does look so good. Check that out. Bomb. This is about to be bomb. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Walleye is like the snapper of fresh water. Oh wait, I want to try the cheek. You want to try a cheek with me? You want to try it at the same time? One, two, three. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh. Delicious. Really good. <laughs> really, really good. Wow. Voila! That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.